Hey YouTube, Farmer Son Prepping here. Just got back from the lake. Excuse me for just a second. We uh, went and did a little early morning fishing. Caught three, two little dinks and uh, about a pound and a half, two pounder bass. Uh, good morning. First of all, uh, thank y'all for being here. Thank you for watching. I want to shout out Bigfoot Prepper and Lake Ferry Prepper. Thank y'all, brother and sister. I appreciate y'all sharing my video and sharing about the channel. God bless you. I appreciate that. Uh, love y'all. Need something, holler. A uh, lot to talk about. There's a lot of talk going around about military the officers, uh, commissioned officers, have been told to get their houses in order. Uh, sorry. Also, I'm hearing uh, that National Guard is being trained on how to go through people's houses and take resources like food, water, pew pews, etc. Uh, disturbing stuff, y'all. Disturbing. To hear all this, we'll go over a little checklist for y'all this morning. Uh, the pew pews are they cleaned and old? Are they ready to rock? They need to be. Is your ammo ready to go, accessible? Do you have mags loaded? They need to be. Uh, food do you have food stores? If you do, can you hide it? Uh, you need to hide it well. Okay. <clears throat> That's one of the key things they're going to be looking for is food. Oh, we're going to help the rest of the country and take what we get from you and disperse it. Whatever. I don't know if I believe all that or not. They may, they may not. But hide your food. Don't have all your eggs in one basket. Have some hidden. Have some in the house. Have some more hidden somewhere else. Spread it out, y'all. Because what they think you may need may not be what you think you need. In, in, in other words, they're allowed to take it off. Okay, water. Do you have water stores? If they cut my water off tomorrow, I can live right here without having to haul water for a month. I've got that much water stored in the house. Not bragging. I'm just saying that's that's a month I could go, me and the dogs, without having to leave the house. You need water stores. I don't think they'll be taking water, but you can't be too careful. Pets. Are your pets stocked up on? Can you go uh, a distance of time without having to go to the store? Uh, I have a month, a month's worth of dry dog food and a month's worth of canned dog food already okay so i can go two months without having to go to the store uh they have new collars extra leashes all that stuff something to think about uh alternative comms and i do not mean cell phones okay we're talking about cb radios my my family's property is all joined together we live in a close enough proximity, we can talk to each other uh, without using cell phones. That might be a crucial thing. I'm just gonna lay those down right there. Uh, I have ham radios, but in SHTF, I likely would not use them. The second you give your call sign, you're giving your away your location, your address, all that stuff. So, only if you had to, I suppose. It's good to have. Alright. You need alternative comms. We're going to end up probably having to throw these cell phones away because they're tracking us. They're tracking what we spend money on. Okay. Lot, that's a lot just to get into right there. Off-grid cooking. What if they decide to just, we'll help them out of their houses. We'll cut off all our utilities. Do you have a way to cook without power? That might be important. 
And you need to be able to hide all this stuff, y'all. You need to be able to hide it all. Because uh, if they're being, if the National Guard's being trained to come in and locate resources in people's homes, you need to be able to hide it. Uh, again, this is very disturbing news to me. This has got a fire lit under my rear end, as you can tell. And uh, there's some things we need to be thinking about this week. Uh, thank you for all the new subscribers. I know a lot of you came over from the shares that uh, Bigfoot and Lake Ferry did. Appreciate y'all being here and watching. Uh, appreciate you if you would just uh, like the videos and comment and share. If you know new preppers, share the videos. That'd be great. Trying to build the channel up before the before yeah, I've got a uh, backup channel or uh, just in case I have that linked in this description of this video my just in case channel so a lot of that going on a lot of more they're pressing the censorship a lot more on preppers now so I, ha I do have backups on that uh, if needed we can do that but I wanted to talk to y'all about all this stuff today y'all it's it's important I've still got some more food I need to get buried and hidden. <clears throat> so, it's something we need to be thinking about. Food and water are a premium right now. Prices are going up. The dollar is worth less and less and less. We need to be getting as much food and as much water stores as possible. Uh, and if you have the pew pews, we need to be pew pew food. We need a lot of that too. Because I'm telling you, something's coming to a head here. I don't know if we're fixed to be invaded or what, but uh, we definitely need to step it up on some of these things and be able to hide some of these things. And uh, I wanted to bring that to y'all today. Uh, thank y'all all for watching. I'm not trying to push fear, but uh, from what I'm hearing through many different avenues, uh, something big is on the move. And if you're a Christian, persecution is coming. If you're of the unjabbed, some persecution on that may be coming too. So, you know, Backwood says it all the time. Prepare your mind and everything else will follow. Prepare your heart. You may have to give your life to secure liberty for the next generation. I mean, you know, you have to think about it. I'm thinking about it. Anyway, y'all, this is Farmer Son Prepping. I appreciate y'all watching. I wanted to bring this stuff to your attention today. Uh, go ahead and sub to the JIC channel if you would. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I'll put links in the description for these radios if you want to go ahead and purchase those. But yeah, stack food, stack water, rice, beans. Y'all know the drill. Canned goods. Canned goods can last for 20 years easily if they're stored in the proper temperature. If you don't believe me, ask a Korean vet because they ate stuff from World War II. So, uh, and it was canned goods. So, there's a fact that canned goods will last that long. They will. If they're not dented or pooched out, whatever, they're good to eat. It's, you know, check the smell and all that. <clears throat> Pray up, stack it up, and look and listen. Be on the ready. The Blue Helmets, or whoever, are liable to be coming soon. I don't know if we're fixing to be in the middle of a war. I don't know if it's going to be in the, in Asia. I don't know if it's going to be here. But you got to be prepared. So be prepared, people. I'm fired up this morning. Have ways to sustain yourself. Have a, the ability to not have to leave your home if possible. And they're talking about lockdowns are coming. I don't know that to be a fact. But you need to be prepared for it anyway. Okay. I'm not clairvoyant. <laughs> I'm not no, uh, I mean, I'm a follower of Jesus, but I'm not no, uh, apostle or whatever i'm not a prophet so but we need to be prepared for these things to happen i pray to god they don't happen 
I really do. And I pray to God for each and every one of you. I pray the Lord watches over you and protects you all. And lead us and guide us, Lord, in what you'd have us to do. Keep your eye on Jesus. And stay prepped up. This is Farmer Son Prepping. We will talk to y'all later. Hopefully. Uh-uh. <clears throat>